um, to get back to uh, um, the knowledge of the general Italian public uh, about UAP, uh, there are some very high profile <laughs> cases, and that's that's an understatement uh, from uh, within Italy. Um, so <clears throat> let me just <laughs> kick in the barn doors like a cowboy and uh, address the elephant in the room uh, and and this is and this is what all my uh, viewers the audience is, is, has been waiting for and that is um you know the uh, mussolini uh, uh uap and uh the telegram uh, or telegrams i should say uh that were uh, donated to mr pinotti uh, because he is the uh, the one who got hold of them, and um, to to do a short introduction, those have been analyzed and they uh, were found to be authentic. Yes. Now uh, <clears throat> we're talking about a 1933 UFO recovery in Italy. Um, UFO recovery uh, in Italy, I, I think it was. Uh, now I've asked you before. Uh, was it a crashed vehicle or was it something that was dug up like an archaeological found finding well um i can tell you that um, according to my knowledge it was not dug up repeat not it was something that landed and or crash landed in any case it landed it was not a retrieval that was yeah. sure and uh, if i if i can show the part of the documents that we have nowadays can i share the the image uh, max can i go yes sir for sure we're waiting for mm -hmm. it okay share screen finestra okay there we are so you should be seeing this can you see it Yes, we can mm -hmm. see it. So uh, this is a telegram. This telegram was sent by the news agency, uh, the Stefani was the name, news agency, which was the only official news agency of the time. I mean, right. there were no others. So they were the guardian of the truth, so to speak. So right. this uh, is a, a, um, a telegram which is called, which is um, um, classified riservatissimo, which means confidential, and it has the highest priority, the, the highest. I don't know if you see my my mouse pointer moving. Do, I do. do you we see do. it? Okay. Yes. Good. Yeah. So I am indicating here the pre uh, precedenza lampo means the highest priority of all. It's yeah. signed by the, the general director of special affairs of this agency, and mm -hmm. it's uh, dated uh, June thirteenth of nineteen thirty three at 16 hours so the text which i have translated below it says by superior order it is disposed to treat the news diffused with stephanie's dispatch number 6631c of today as follows aircraft above recognized as meteor repeats meteor by the Brera Astronomical Observatory, which is the most was the most important uh, observatory at the time, give minimum graphic relevance to the news. No need, repeat, no need to correct. Minimize immediate confirmation of receipt required uh, signed by the Director of Special Affairs. So this is a uh, was sent at 16 hours and makes and refers to another or uh, another telegram of the same day which unfortunately is not available we it's not available so the first of all we have this telegram and this is the cover-up we we are seeing the cover-up at work the, meteor. the aircraft yes it's it's not an uh, aircraft is a meteor right by the uh, main astronomical observatory of Italy. Okay. This was at 16 hours. Yeah, so to add a little then, bit of context, 
Um, mm -hmm. uh, people, you have to imagine this is in the heyday of uh, former uh, fascist dictator uh, Benito Mussolini. It um, was, uh, yes, it was the 11th year of the Mussolini regime. Uh, so, right. Yes, 11th. Okay. So continue, sir. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So uh, the text of this, which has the same classification, the same priority, and sent to all, tutti means all the offices. So the text tutti is tutti. of tutti, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> of personal order of the Duce, or that is Mussolini. So it was Mussolini in person who ordered this. It is disposed immediate, repeat immediate arrest of the fusion of the news related to aircraft of unknown nature and origin, aircraft of unknown nature and origin, of okay. which in this in dispatch of Stephanie date today 7.30, the one that we do not have. Immediate recasting of any leads from the newspaper bearing said news is ordered. So eliminate any trace of this. The maximum wow. penalties for transgressors are foreseen up to referring to the Supreme Court for state security. Immediate confirmation of receipt is required. So you see, this is uh, per, uh, Mussolini here personally disposes the immediate arrest of the diffusion of this news. Yeah. Then we have another one. Where is it? This one is not dated. It has the same um, classification, same priority. Uh, this one seems a bit like uh, like a, like a draft, maybe. In any case, it says by personal order of the Duce, absolute silence is order on presumed landing on national soil of unknown aircraft to stop version to publish diffused with today's dispatch by stephanie is confirmed that is the it's a meteor same version also for staff and journalist maximum penalties for transgressor blah 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 immediate confirmation of receipt is requested so we see that immediate i mean we have at least four telegrams on this on this matter on this event on that wow. day so uh, and uh, we see that mussolini personally ordered the arrest of the diffusion of the news so of, it's um it's something which was really considered very important now again then, now again mm -hmm. now again for the viewers the, these documents are verified authentic just mm -hmm. To me, be clear about that. Yes, yes. Roberto Pinotti, who is uh, I, I already spoke about him. He received not all, but most, most of these documents. He were received by him, by an anonymous sender. So we do not know who is the person who sent these documents. But in any Are case, you sure? he yes. Are you yes. sure you don't know who it is? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I asked Roberto many times if he if he knew, but he said no. We 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 can have some hint, but uh, in any case, was someone acquainted with uh, someone uh, very top level? Because we have, for instance, you see this other document, which mm -hmm. is logically related to the three to the three telegrams that we have seen before by the way if you see this symbol this yes. is the letterhead for of the senate of italy senato right. del regno means senate of the reign of italy because it was a reign at, in 1933 <clears throat> so this is a, it means a personal very uh, confidential note First, inform the um, prefetto, the, 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 the representative of the government, or local representative of the government. Second, uh, arrange for the immediate retrieval of the aircraft. Third, um, uh, st stop uh, and arrest all the witnesses and uh, um, uh, Give orders to the local uh, se section, uh, the local uh, section of the 
uh, Ovra is the um, like the Italian Gestapo, so to speak, the secret poli the secret police of state, and uh, mm -hmm. and this uh, what I mean this was the disp the disposition to uh, alert the the local section uh, of the Ovra, uh, which concerns the which is in charge of the RS thirty three. Uh, relation. We'll see what this RS33 means. Yes, then, I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, well, I can tell you for 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 sure now. It's it's um, the equivalent, the Italian equivalent of of the Majestic 12. It's called. Wow. Mm -hmm, uh, RS well, no, it's, sorry, that just that just blew my mind. Mm -hmm. um, I I didn't know there was exactly. a, a Italian task force at the time, mm -hmm. which is. Yes, um, yes. This is called RS thirty three, uh, which stands for Ricerche Speciali, Special Researches uh, thirty three, because because of the year when it was created, and uh, it was. They say that it was um, the president was Guglielmo Marconi, mm. and it had a good number of high level um, scientists working in this so very exactly like the majestic 12. Wow. so we go on fourth point uh, address every report with the highest uh, secrecy i mean classified at the highest uh, possible level and top priority over all the other communications so address every uh, every report to the uh, central meteorological uh, office at the La Sapienza University of Rome, which is the most important, was the most important university in Italy, uh, slash Gabinetto RS33. That is, uh, that is the, um, uh, the one I told you before, the Italian uh, Majestic 12. Right, then yeah. fifth, stop uh, the diffusion of every news specifically on the on on the press so uh, stop uh, without any any just stop the diffusion of any news concerning this this matter six uh, uh, for this in order to implement what is disposed in point 5 it is necessary to publish every now and then very short article where the phenomenon is reported and described as a uh, as an astronomic uh, astronomic event a meteor uh, shooting star or things like that right a, a natural so, phenomenon Yes, uh, it's interesting that it's specified very clearly. It's necessary to publish every now and then very short articles uh, where the phenomenon is described as um, uh, meteor uh, shooting stars and so on. Then seventh, the transmission of the reports to the U uh, to the um, Air, Italian Air Force must be authorized by the uh, authorities of uh, RS33 which the, the and their decisions are uh, inappellable in the sense that cannot be discussed in any case so six uh exclusion no other uh, scientific body must take part must be informed of the uh, of these reports included the uh, university of the vatican then nine mm. that's an accounting that's an accounting disposition uh, then uh, all the expenses have to be uh, have to be now now I, I don't know exactly the english term for that but in any case <clears throat> this is just an accounting procedure for right. any expenses that uh, which are needed for this uh, for the studies and so on then it's uh, written a budget, here a budget. below Yes, budget. Thanks, uh, thanks, Max. <laughs> Below here is written: Do not protocol. Ne do uh, never ever protocol this document. So this had to be. This document 
in the, these two pages had to be to remain totally anonymous and not to be uh, subject to protocol of any kind. So I remember this was, uh, this is the paper, the letterhead of the Senate of Italy, of the reign of Italy. <clears throat> so this is something that was sent, I mean, these two pages were sent along with the three telegrams that we have seen here. Yeah. So what happened? Uh, there is one thing which should be remembered. If they say that, the, if they speak of aircraft uh, or aircraft of unknown nature and origin, they really know what they mean. Because at that time, the, uh, the Air Force was kept in very high regard personally by Mussolini. So uh, he was very proud of his Air Force. And uh, so if, I mean, if they say aircraft of unknown nature and origin, this is really what it was, something that could not have been identified because they knew very well all the other uh, aircraft built yeah. by the competitors. <clears throat> yeah, so let, let me <clears throat> give a little bit of context to the viewers. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the time, um, uh, the Italian Air Force was actually very advanced. Mm -hmm. um, people think uh, because uh, the Italian army didn't really uh, uh, perform <laughs> in, in, mm -hmm. in, in combat, and that wasn't because of uh, the state of the army or their technology. It was because of bad leadership, actually. But they had a very, very uh, state-of-the-art uh, mm -hmm. army at the time. So these professionals were able to uh uh you know separate uap from known arc uh, aircraft they knew they really knew what they were talking about to tell it properly and the air force was really well, the italian air force at the time was one of the most advanced uh, in, in the world and the problem, you know what, Max, the, prob the real problem was n not that much in leadership, but in the industri underlying industrial capacity. Right. That was, the pro that was the problem. Italy made very nice, very fine aircraft during the World War II, but did not have the um, industrial, uh, how can I say, uh, proper, uh, proper industrial background capacity to build in, in great numbers, in any case. And uh, by the way, this image shows the place, the location of the crash of the landing. It's not far from Milan, and not far from Varese you know, that you see here. So this is the general area where the this this aircraft would have uh, landed or crashed landing. We 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 don't know for sure. Now, <clears throat> sir, if mm -hmm. I can uh, uh, interrupt for <laughs> one more time, mm -hmm. um, the, the I've heard uh, the vehicle was a silver disc, and and that. Is that true, or is that something uh, that is? Uh, I, ever been? I I cannot say. Oh, honestly speaking, I cannot say. I mean, I heard many, 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 many stories on, on this, but I prefer to to remain. I mean, with um, <laughs> with my feet on <laughs> on the ground, as we say in Italy. I mean, I heard many, many stories, but I don't know really if it was uh, what what kind of shape uh, it had. Is there um, is there any account in the telegrams? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, no, telegram no, 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 right. no, 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 no. I'm showing this image because this is um, um, that was a hangar or one or more hangar, which were the property of the society CI Market which was one of the top producer of aircraft at that time. And they, they said that this vehicle of, or what remained of this vehicle was um, conserved, was, was stored here in this, uh, in this facility. <clears throat> this now, in, are are in we talking hangar. about like the Italian Area 51 or S4? Uh, well, uh, 
you know what, uh, 51 or X4 are uh, specifically designated localities for this kind of activities. This was um, a facility where they, that was in, in the vicinity of the, of the landing site that they used, w which was on hand to, to store these, uh, these uh, de debris or this craft, whatever it was. So, I mean, no, yeah. I would not call it the Italian Area 51. It might have become, I mean, after, but it was not meant for this. In any case, it's interesting to see that during the war, this was not bombed. I mean, this facility was not bombed by another facility, but there was another facilities facility a few kilometers from there, which was bombed eight or nine times, sort of. So, I mean, mm, is it a spare, coincidence? Huh? Mm, who knows why? I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I cannot say, but th this is what it happened. This was spared. It was not bombed while, while other local um, facilities nearby were heavily bombed, like, like every, uh, practically every facility of this kind in Italy at the end of yeah. the war. So I, I, I have another question. Um, so, uh, Mr. Uh, Mussolini, um, he uh, was very aware of uh, this unknown craft uh, crashed uh, within the country. <coughs> and um, there, I, I think we talked about this. Um, he was worried it was a secret German technology and... Um, there was something else going on surrounding that uh, craft. Would you please mm -hmm. tell us? Yes, that's in, that's an interesting development that um, became known to us, at least in Italy, 10 years ago or 11 years ago. <clears throat> no, I think it's 11, 11 years ago right now, when at one of the symposia, symposia in San Marino, in uh, 2010 it was, we had this intervention by this gentleman named William Brophy. This yeah. gentleman from the US said that his father was an officer in the US Air Force. And that when he was in, in his duty was, had the possibility, it was shown the bodies kept on under formalin of two aliens of the, the classical Nordic aliens, so to speak. Um, bodies a bit damaged, but, yeah. but easily recognizable, I mean. Uh, and they were the classic kind of Nordic aliens. Yeah, and so, it was... So, mm -hmm. so yeah, so the, 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 there could be an easy uh, mix-up uh, because, you know, they, 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 they could be just a bunch of Germans. <laughs> Yes, exactly. And th this is interesting, I mean, because this gentleman, Brophy, William Brophy, said that his father was all, uh, also was told that these two bodies were confiscated in Italy, in northern Italy, at the end of the war by, by the, the US Army, by the US Army, which, of course, brought them to the US. So, so there are speculations, indeed, that Mussolini could have been induced to ally with Germany because uh, he could have thought that these two aliens were indeed Germans. And that, yeah. and, and that aircraft was that, that landed or crash landed in northern Italy was actually um, a Wunderwaffen uh, one of those uh, special Secret. weapons, uh, special yeah. weapons that the Germans were secretly developing, and that, that were fabled or already at the time. I mean, not not just today. So I mean, well, it's difficult to say if this is really true. Mm. Yeah. So you 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 sent but, me. I mean, the... You sent mm -hmm. me the, the footage of Mr. Brophy uh, mm -hmm. telling uh, his father's story. Uh, but then again, um, it's it's very anecdotal. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, exactly. Uh, but <clears throat> the problem. You see, 
Max, uh, sorry, here. sorry to interrupt you. No, you yeah, see, sure. the problem is that um, apart from these uh, documents, these telegrams and a few others that uh, that exist, uh, there are not so many tangible evidence on this. There's a lot, lot of uh, voices, rumors, and so on. But I mean, this is the problem. Also, the existence of this RS33. Uh, cabinet was was really um, uncertain because because I mean the scholars who did uh, who tried to did some research on the well uh, I have to say that the subject of the uh, hypothetical existence of this R S thirty three cabinet R S thirty three well it was not seriously researched by scholars. So I mean, to be, I think there it mm, it would be necess really would be necessary that uh, some serious scholars do uh, serious research, digging deeply into into the state archives of Italy of, of that time to see if because I mean uh, I know that someone did some researches, but. Um, not specifically spot on. Uh, someone found some traces of uh, RS-33, but searching for other things, you see. So it was not their original um, objective of research. So, no. uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's, uh, ne it's necessary to have a spot on, a specific research on this RS-33 at that time, starting from uh, June 33. 